Happy hump day. It's hump day. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Mike, 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 Mike. <laughs> Y'all know I love hump day. I love hump day. Oh, let me say my grace and then I'll tell y'all what I got. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for this day, Lord. I thank you for the food I'm about to receive, for the nourishment of my body. In Christ's name, amen. Amen, amen. So today, y'all, I just picked up some uh, chicken salad from this restaurant. I'm not going to say the name because I'm going to tell y'all a little story, and I don't want to give them a bad situation. And I got some watermelon and some strawberries here, and Amber gave me a piece of her chicken because she ordered chicken and waffles. And I just wanted to taste the chicken. And I just got some Ritz crackers here. You know how you be hungry and the lady open up her box? Um, she's eaten there before, but she said she's never had chicken salad. Well, the lady opened up her box and um, it looked so good. The chicken looked so good. Uh, she just got a five piece. I asked her, could I taste a piece? And she ate the big part, the drum part. and get, get me, um, That's how the chicken salad looked. And y'all know I make my own. Now, this was $9.99, which I'm not sure is a good price or not. But it's homemade. It's good. It's a little sweeter than I like. But I saw this girl on TikTok. And she recommended it. So, she drove a lot of Memphis restaurant. The chicken is good. And it's well seasoned. Hmm. And I'm going to say everything that good, but I never eaten that before. So, yeah. I, um, so, yeah, I'll show y'all. So, mm -hmm. all right, chicken really good. It's been an interesting afternoon. While I was in the restaurant, <clears throat> and this is what hurt businesses. I know they're hurting for employees now, but employees don't seem to care about people's businesses. Now, it was customers in the restaurant, right? And people come in. Well, this girl in the back, it wasn't a cashier, and there was a, clearly a guy on the grill. She was cussing the grill guy out, right? Y'all, if I ain't here 20 MFs and FUs and, and, and you don't know who you effing with, and I'm going to be, a, she pretty much was kind of threatening towards him. Um, So the cashier was clearly disturbed, so I asked her was she okay, because I was up there ordering when it all started, it all ensued. And when she said, yeah, but I'm worried about him. But to his credit, he never cursed back at her. He was talking to her, but he was saying he remained calm the whole time. And this chicken salad is good. And they had a 99 score in the restaurant the food quality is good, but this hurts your business people attitude back there. I don't know if they can. They need to deal with her because she was clearly out of order. And that just because I called Amber while it was all going down. And I told her, this place ain't got to worry. You know that saying, you ain't got to worry about me. Ain't got to worry about me. And that's what I was like. I'm going to come back up here, but I will go back up there because of quality of food. And like I said, the, the cook, the cashier, their attitudes were outstanding. The customer service was outstanding. But it's just a blemish on your business when you got an employee in there acting a fool. When people don't feel comfortable. And I told my daughter, I said, it's so sad that in Memphis, you know, these workers be better, better than these restaurants. And so <laughs> it's sad that people just so, uh, they're just immune to it. It's like the people in there eating like it wasn't nothing going on. They just in there just eating like, okay. They never did look up. Some of, it was only me and another lady were like, what in the world? Hmm. So, I sat down to wait on my order. Because they gave me the chicken salad, but everyone did get her those chicken and waffles. And the little young lady that was in there, she said she'd be there all the time. The food is really good. So, she started talking to me while she was in there. But, honey, 
So then, on the way home, I stopped at the store. And you know, on the side of the road. So y'all see this is $3, right? I got a, he was selling watermelon. As y'all can see, I'm eating one of them. I didn't buy that damn right. Got me some cut up at Pickle Weekly. And so I said, how much are your watermelon? He said, oh, they ain't come tax price. But he was joking. I really don't know how much they were to be honest with you. He said, they $15, $16. I'm like, well, I don't know. I said, I don't know. I said, but anyway, it's too big for me. It's just me. He said, I can share it with you. I said, sir, I'm old enough to be your mom. Sir, okay. So the little old man that was sitting in his chair started laughing. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm older than what you think. I'm older than what you think. This is my face looking at him like, first of all, you're sitting out here. You're young enough, you look at my daughter's age. I don't care how old you are, I'm not interested. But you're out here, I'm sure you got off work. I don't know what you're doing, but you're out here with a paper bag with a beer and a drinking out of it. That ain't not a good sales point right there. Then you telling me about a, a watermelon you want to share with me instead of saying, I get it and we can share it. Let me pay for it. Mm -mm. You want to share it after I pay for it. No, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> but anyway, so that's it. I'm like, sir, you need to work on your player, uh, your player uh, card because you, you need to revoke because you don't know what to do. Even if I was your age, you 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 wrong. That This is not it. This is not what it is. Yeah, this is real good. When I don't feel like making none, I will definitely go back and get it. Now, Emma told me about another lady about this size, but hers is like, she said it was like $6. But who knows, because they all went up. Now, I wanted the buffalo, but they didn't have any. They sell buffalo chicken salad, too. And she said they didn't have any of that. Mmm. I about can do one more because I'm getting full. I know it's eating that fruit too. But I'll show y'all what I ate, but it's real good. Like I said, y'all heard the neatest thing. I was listening to him, something. It was a little excerpt from Denzel Washington. And he was saying pretty much, I don't want to get it all the way wrong. I know I'm not phrasing it exactly what he said. He said, but you could be have movement and not progressing. And he said, basically, you could be running in place and not going nowhere. Basically, you're not progressing in anywhere. So to that, it's like, what are you doing in your life? Are you just moving to be moving or are you moving to progress? And I thought about that. I put a little bit in it, y'all. When I was thinking about, that's everything in your life you need to think about. The people around you, are you stagnant in what you're doing? Are you still trying to learn and grow? And I had to challenge myself on that too. Because sometimes you get comfortable and you get complacent. And you stop trying to learn and grow. And you have to kind of think about the people that you are around and that you have around you. You want to make sure that those people can fit out you can into your life. Positive affirmations in your life. Words of encouragement in your life. You don't need the naysayers that you can't stuff, though. 
negativity. Because you want people that, you know, they say the wind beneath my wings that's going to give you that wind that's going to blow you, that's going to move you forward. You know, and you want to be that for other people too. If you can't be reciprocal to the person that's that to you, you want to pay it for it and be that to somebody else. You want somebody that's going to feed into you. But you can't just be a taker in life. You have to be a giver. You know, and that sometimes it's not to the person that gives to you. Sometimes it's you got to give to others. So, as we are about to go into the sixth month of the year, ask yourself what you've been doing this year to move your life forward. Ask yourself how you've blessed and helped others. And blessing and helping others is not always monetary or giving to them. Sometimes it's just giving them, but it's giving words of encouragement. It's giving a prayer over their life. Praying for them. Just loving them. When a person feels unloved, you can tell them, look, God loves you. But on that, I'm going to show you God's love because I love you. You know? Those type things. So, oh, y'all, to this, like I said, this cantaloupe. And I want to speak to this. Why I bought it from the side of the street. Yes, I could have got a cantaloupe at the store. I could get a watermelon at the store. But in truth, you may pay a little 50 cents, a dollar more for it to buy from a buy down the truck on the side of the road, one of the farmers. But if you can, support your local farmers, support these people that are out here selling and growing vegetables fresh because it helps them. These chains, they're gonna they look, they got markups all over the store. So yeah, they can have sales on things sometimes. So, yeah, you, you just think, and I know grocery are high, but please try to support these people in the summertime, especially. I don't know. I normally don't do, sometimes I go to farmer's markets, but I don't do it a lot in the winter. But in the summer months, most definitely, I do try to support local farmers and people trying to sell produce and stuff like that. So, please, you know, to that, do that if you can in your area. If you can support that, if you're out there selling, I pray that you are able to sell your produce and vegetables and stuff this summer and fruit. But anyway, and y'all eat lots of fruits and vegetables. And if you haven't drank a glass of water, they drink one right now. Drink it right now. Right now, right now. Make sure you get your water in, stay hydrated, especially out here in this heat. Because it is hot now. Yeah, ain't no going back, I don't think. It is going to rain here today. I hope y'all are having good weather. But anyway, I'm going to get off here. I just had me a little snack time dinner. And uh, probably if I get hungry, I'll eat some more chicken salad later. But um, it was really good. And like I said, I hope that you all are having a happy and blessed Wednesday. I want you to know you're loved. I love you. But God truly loves you the most. Remember to always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. Love you. It's hump day. Happy hump day. Yeah, happy Wednesday, y'all. Bye.